Chapter 15: Neurocognitive Disorders. This is my summary of Barlow and Juran's Abnormal Psychology and Integrative Approach Seventh Edition textbook. I'll be talking about neurocognitive disorders. To begin with, delirium is when individuals have impaired consciousness and cognition during the course of several hours or days. The impairment occurs in attention, memory, language, and in trouble speaking. It is caused by withdrawal from drugs, or it could be from infection, brain injury, or a tumor in the head, or a brain tumor. There's acute onset. Whereby individuals with delirium occurs very quickly, and ways to treat delirium can include antipsychotic drugs like haloperidol or olanzapine, which is prescribed for acute delirium. There are also psychosocial treatments, in which individuals with delirium are shown their familiar personal belongings, and this helps them to deal with their anxieties. Agitation and hallucinations, etc. Major neurocognitive disorders, well, includes dementia, is the gradual deterioration of brain functioning, which affects memory, judgment, and language, etc. There are mild neurocognitive disorders, which are merely the early stages of cognitive decline, and the individuals can continue to function、uh, independently. There are neurocognitive disorders. Which gradually progress. Agnosia is the inability to recognize and name objects. There is also、uh, facial agnosia, which is the inability to recognize faces, even those of familiar individuals, familiar ones, like friends and family. Moving along, Alzheimer's disease is when there are multiple cognitive deficits that develop gradually and steadily, and The cognitive deficits include impaired memory, orientation, judgment, language, and reasoning. Individuals can't integrate new information or learn new associations, and they forget important events. They lose objects, lose interests, and become socially isolated. They may have aphasia, which is impaired language skills, as well as agnosia, which was mentioned before. And apraxia, which is impaired motor functioning. People with Alzheimer's have problems in planning, sequencing, organizing, and abstracting information. Further progression includes agitation, anxiousness, depression, and confusion. Vascular neurocognitive disorder is the progressive brain disorder that results from stroke. And it causes neurocognitive deficits. There is chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, which is the repetitive the repetitive neurodegeneration, which is caused by head trauma. There are frontal temporal neurocognitive disorder, whereby brain disorders that damage frontal or temporal lobes affect personality, language, judgment, and behavior. But yeah, this is、uh, most concerning, especially for individuals who play football, because when they hit their heads, let's say against others, or if they fall down and hit their heads, or if the ball hits their head, then that is bound to cause things like concussion and subsequent frontal、uh, cortex damage, frontal cortical damage. And as a result, it may lead to personality, language, judgment,、uh, and behavioral disorders. Anyway, Pick's disease is a rare condition which produces symptoms like Alzheimer's. It has a genetic component, and its onset is around age 40 to 50. Traumatic brain injury (TBI) is the severe trauma to the head, which causes the brain to sustain lasting injuries. Neurocognitive disorders due to traumatic brain injury are defined as when symptoms persist for at least a week after the trauma, and、um, it has resulted in executive dysfunction, learning, and memory problems. Lewy body disease 
is the microscopic deposits of protein that damages brain cells over time and uh, signs of the disorder accumulate gradually which include impairment in one's alertness, attention, as well as motor impairment and having hallucinations. Parkinson's disease are when individuals have a stooped posture, slow body movements, tremors and jerking in walking. They have a soft monotone voice resulting from damage to the dopamine motor pathways. Neurocognitive disorder due to human immunodeficiency virus type 1 or HIV-1 is when HIV is responsible for neurocognitive impairment on one's attention, cognitive slowness and forgetfulness. The individual is clumsy, they engage in repetitive movement, uh, tremors, they have weak legs, they're also apathetic and socially withdrawn. Huntington's disease is a genetic disorder that affects motor movements, chorea, which is the involuntary limb movements. The individual can live for 20 years after the first sign of Huntington's. It is a autosomal dominant disorder inherited to 50% of offspring. Prion disease is a rare neurodegeneration caused by prions, which are proteins that can reproduce and cause damage to brain cells, leading to neurocognitive decline. There is no treatment, for this prion disease is fatal. Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease. It might be linked to mad cow disease or bovine spongy form. Finally, there is substance or medication induced neurocognitive disorder which occurs from the consumption of alcohol, drugs, or inhalants that bring about aphasia, apraxia, agnosia, and thus disturbing one's executive functioning. So, in conclusion, we looked at the various neurocognitive disorders that exist, starting with delirium, major neurocognitive disorder, uh, like dementia, mild neuroconnective disorder, agnosia, facial agnosia, Alzheimer's disease, vascular neurocognitive disorder, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, frontotemporal neurocognitive disorder, Pick's disease, traumatic brain injury, neurocognitive disorders due to traumatic brain injury, Louis' body disease, Parkinson's disease, neurocognitive disorder due to HIV, Prion's disease, Huntington's disease, Kritz felt Jacob disease, and substance or medication induced neurocognitive disorder. Uh, join me next time where I'll be talking about mental health services as well as legal and ethical issues. Chapter 16. Thanks for watching.